Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our abstract thesis series where we are digging deep into the concept to learn how things work in Power BI. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for the new videos. So in this video, we will continue our discussion which uh, we have started last time that we have used this uh, dates MTD and previous month and on a complete month we were expecting these two will give us the same results but uh, when we have used date range and we found out that it is not giving the results so let's look back uh, to that one so this is dates MTD which is returning us data and October is selecting and you know this date MC, because it's a complete month we can see that you know uh, sales LMTD last month till date and previous month both giving us the same data okay and what we have done is we have created a new page and put these formulas again and here we have taken a date range and we have taken the date of 31st and it is now giving us a blank now we have taken a date range from 1st of January 2018 now let's now to try to understand this, let's move it to February. Okay, and no results. So let's, let me do one thing. Let me go back and look what is the minimum date I have in the sales. And based on that, let's try to see. So let's start ascending. So we have 2018, 10 is the one. So let's go to till 11th month in 2018. So I go here and I move down. 18 okay November. now I see the number and let's go back on the first page where we have drawn the trend and look at this number which is 578 okay the number is 578 this is a bit different let's see what is the number out there again this is this is also let me increase the font a bit size this is 576 in the month of October and I'm getting 578 almost nearing the first month okay there is a uh, if I what I find if I make it as 576 I'm making it as first number and I'm getting 576.13 is the number and 576.13 if I would have to get so what does this mean so basically previous month takes the start date it does not take the end date so if I go now here and make this as October let me quickly move it much nearer okay now if I make it as 1st October look at the numbers both are same so previous month is taking this one from the start date not from the end date so assumption always is not going to be true that time intelligence is going to take the end date from the client there are some time intelligence functions specifically which start with start and similarly these functions like previous month previous year and previous quarter they can take start date as the starting point now not the ending point now there is one more difference which these two have so that if you want to understand we have to actually plot it by day okay so i'm going to plot it by day and i'm going to plot sales mtd sales lmtd and sales previous month out here now look at this this number is same it is not different it is not like look at mtd and lmtd they are increasing daily at the month and settle down again restart now here at this place this number is starting okay 13th it was the date on which on the 13th November it has started it is increasing at the end of the month this is the number which is coming uh, which is 547 and this is coming 5, uh, 6, 576 and I, I'll tell you the reason why because 
the on 30th october we have this number and this 31st we have this uh, 576 so this number is giving 576 and this number because this is uh, and this is the problem you can get with dates mtd because uh, if it is end of month and it is 30th then it might not get the number so you have to push it when you take month versus month it, it, it going to work out because it's going to take last date of the month but this number might actually uh, might not work out because 30th is going to take out 30th and this is the 30th first so there are these are the differences so and previous month previous year and previous quarter they take complete complete last month they are not bothered about which date you are in so when you are looking for complete month and it's not worth using this with the dates because it's not empty it's not going to increase on the daily basis so we have to use dates MTD in such cases where we need last month on 13th I was this this month 13 how much I am but if I need completely last month I can use sales previous month okay so this is how and now to take this case forward let's also go ahead and take create two more functions which is uh, we already created uh, dates um, YTD so I'm going to create sales previous year and we are going to use calculate sales and I'm going to take previous year now and again I'm going to supply dates to it from the date calendar and let's take okay this spell is wrong I realize this okay now let's drag LYTD and so we'll not have anything in 2018 and in 2019 at some place it will start and we have sales previous year okay and the moment I take sales previous year from the starting this place look at 19 I start getting the 18 number okay and let me pu put sales YTD out here so that I can actually look at the number comparison so in the sales YTD you can see that this number is the previous year number and this is continuously one year so best way to display in such case here I would basically if I let say if I need to take year so let me go to the, my date table and let me drag my year and let me make it as a table visual I take dates YTD I take previous year and I take uh, sales LYTD okay similar kind of number so this is how the display so depending how we are going to use it you have to be very careful in using uh, whether you need to use dates YTD or uh, dates uh, MTD or previous month or previous year see previous month previous year is going to give you complete picture it's not day wise it's not going to change day wise and the moment you change the context to year so now right now the context is year and this is 31st December which is going to be passed because that's the end of year and that's where the context of the year is getting it displayed correctly so you need to be aware what context you are going to pass now so here the it is taking uh, the start of the year date here it is taking end of the D year date and based on this context of year it is taking both these dates so we have to understand that so what context we are supplying here is which is what is deciding uh, this thing so you have to remember so we have a date range and what date range is passing when we are viewing it by the date table items then what are the date passing it and remember everywhere you might have seen that we are using the year month quarter anything we are using here from the date table we have not taken it from the sales table uh, we, we are not using it so these are the few things you need to take care you need to understand the difference between what parameter it is taking look at the power bi documentation I have a blog where you have all the links to the important documentation and you can refer to that and you can find the Power BI documentation otherwise you can search like uh, Power BI previous year previous month you will get the documentation and look at the documentation where it is starting uh, where it is ending or what date actually it is taking uh, is it taking start date or is it taking end date and these kind of things are there uh, so try these things out and uh, uh, suggest uh, us what else you want to see uh, 
uh, do let us know do you like this video and uh, in the comment do you let us know if uh, we have a different understanding or this understanding might not be correct uh, you might have some better uh, reasons to explain to uh, to it to us so do comment and keep on watching keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you